Hey there guys, after yesterday's bummed out battle, today I bring you a battle that I'm actually excited about. It's a battle against the one, the only, Dread Cooler. And he's facing my second Trickstorm team, and I lead with Tyranitar and Solrock, and he leads with Gliscor and Gyarados. So yeah, I was really glad that Dread Cooler wanted in on the 1000 sub thing. Because he's awesome. And I did not really see the taunt coming. So Solrock is not going to be able to use Trick Room now. And he really wants to take it out apparently. But that's what the Sash is for. And this Gyarados has the Wacken, Berry. And considering that and the Intimidate, Tyranitar's Thunder Punch is pretty disappointing. And Solrock can't use Trick Room. So that's a bummer, and Gyarados takes a little Sandstorm damage. And then he decides to switch it out. Probably because he no longer has the Wacan Berry, so he brings in Jirachi. And Gliscor goes for Rock Slide. Which takes out Solrock, but does hardly any damage at all to Tyranitar. Uh, too bad, Solrock. So it's, I figured he was going to switch Gyarados, so I went for Stone Edge, but I didn't really expect Jirachi to come in. And Tyranitar heals a little bit. And then I bring in Claydol, who is my second Trick Rumor. And then he switches out Gliscor. And bring Gyarados in again to lower Tyranitar's attack even further. So yeah, that kinda sucked. And here he made a genius move that I did not see coming at all. Use a skill swap on Kaladol to get its levitate ability. Which makes it immune to Earthquake that I was gonna use on it. Which now only hits my own Kaladol, so yeah. Good job Dreadcooler, that was an awesome very awesome move you made but as shown later on in the battle it might have been uh, let's just say that it's coming back to haunt him later on in the battle so he switches out Gyarados again and brings in Lantern probably expecting a Thunder Punch but because the Lantern has minus two attack I'm switching it out and bringing in Omastar for some reason and Jirachi goes for Ice Punch and actually doesn't do all that much on Claydol and I finally get the Trick Room off so now I have the advantage and the Sandstorm is going to damage his Lantern a little bit and then Claydol heals and then Lantern heals. And then I go for Hydro Pump on Almastar, which destroys his Jirachi. It's like, huh, not bad. Guess his Jirachi isn't all that bulky. Take a little Life Orb recoil, and then I go for Earth Power on Lantern. And here's where Serene Grace comes back to haunt him, because he gets a special defense drop on Lantern. And he goes for Discharge, guess he really wanted to do something to Omastar, but because of the Sandstorm it only, it doesn't really do that much, but he gets Parahax on Omastar, which only makes it faster in the Trick Room, so that's not that bad actually. So then he brings out his next Pokemon, which is Regais, and they go for Ancient Power. And before you start complaining, oh, why not Hydro Pump? Because Ancient Power is just as strong on a Regi's as Hydro Pump is. Do the calculation. Stab Hydro Pump is 120 times 1.5 is 180. And Ancient Power on Regi's is 60 times 1.5 for Stab is 90 times 2 for Super Effective, which is also 180. And Ancient Power has better accuracy and the chance of raising my stats, so that's why I went for Ancient Power. So don't bitch about it in the comments. 
And he takes out Claydol, which is pretty bad because I don't have anything to set up Trick Room now because he's killed both Solrock and Claydol. So once this Trick Room runs out, I'm going to be in trouble. But Sandstorm takes out his land turn, which is good because my team does not like water Pokemon. So out comes Marowak, who is a beast. He destroys everything. And Dread brings out Gliscor again, only to switch it out immediately. And he brings in Gyarados. Guess he wants to intimidate Marowak. But even with the intimidate, Marowak has massive attack. And Regice goes for Protect, guess he wants to try and stall out the Trick Room. Because he knows once the Trick Room's gone, he'll have the advantage again. And Ice Beam does pretty decent damage on Gyarados, almost knocks it out. And then Marowak goes for Rock Slide. And Regice unfortunately protects, but it's going to take out Gyarados. So I'm really not doing all that bad now. And this is also like one of the most fun battles I've had in ages. So Regice heals a little bit. And then out comes his next Pokemon, which is Espeon. And Regice's Protect fails. Guess he was tr hoping to get lucky there. But then my Hydro Pump misses. And Marowak goes for Rock Slide again. And does pretty bad damage, actually. Must be the Intimidate. But Espeon Psychic is pretty disappointing as well. I mean, it's a Marowak, and it only did slightly over half. This is getting dangerous. But the Sandstorm damages his Pokemon a bit more. And Regice recovers all that damage immediately. And the Trick Room runs out. So he immediately decides to go for the offensive, takes out Omastar. But I don't really know why Signal Beam, maybe he was expecting me to switch to Tyranitar or something. And his Blizzard then misses, which was very helpful because now Marowak can use Earthquake, which takes both of his Pokemon out. So, things aren't looking that great for Dreadcooler right now. He only has one Pokemon left and I still have uh, three. So, I bring out Nidoking because I know what Pokemon he has left, which is Gliscor, and I know Nidoking can easily deal with it, but Gliscor goes for Earthquake first. And they both barely manage to survive. Nidoking goes for Ice Beam, and Gliscor has a Focus Sash, so he's going to live, but he's not going to live Marowak's Double Edge. So Marowak slams his bone skull on Gliscor and takes it out. So great battle, Dreadcooler. You're an awesome battler. I hope you want to like take part in the gym challenge because I could really use a challenger like you. And everyone stay tuned for more 1000 sub battles on General Secura's channel. See you later. Bye bye.